Today on Rachel Ray. Rachel. Dr. Whitney Bow reveals the latest in trendy skin tech. It's like a personal skincare coach at home with you. Miss Robbie and Son's soul spaghetti is as easy as... One, two, three. Plus, Tanya's getting this family fired up for game day. Yeah. And save room for tomato lentil soup. And now, are you ready for Rachel? up with my friend, Dr. Whitney. She's back today. Um, we're going to start with a really cool mirror. You know, everybody's heard the mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all. Well, there's actually a mirror out there that can help you be the fairest you can be, let's say. Uh, here to tell us about that and other skin technology is one of our favorite dermatologists, Dr. Whitney Poe. Whitney. So, Rachel. So, this morning. Yeah, this is amazing, this first one. This is very cool. It's unbelievable. So over here we have the high mirror, and next to the high mirror we have the beautiful viewer, Valerie. Hi, Val. How are ya? So, <laughs> up until now, you know, if you wanted to get a personalized skincare analysis and have right. somebody really focus on what are your target areas and come up with a strategic, customized plan to meet your beauty goals, you kind of had to see your derm. You know, so right. I see patients all day long and they come for a makeup-free appointment and I analyze a number of different things about their skin. So I'm looking at their brown spots, their red spots, their texture, their tone, their fine lines. And then after I do that, we come up with a very personalized treatment plan. But now... With a game plan, right. You can do that in the privacy of your own home in your, in your bathroom with the high mirror. So this is very cool. Valerie, what is it? How do you take care of your skin? So I have a very minimal skincare routine. I kind of just wash it and moisturize it here and there. I don't really know what I should be doing, if it's effective. And that's very typical. So my that's patients it. fall in one of two categories, either the Valerie category, which is like there's a lot out there and it's kind of overwhelming, so I'm just going to keep it really simple, or the I'm going to have the kitchen sink approach and sort of throw everything at my skin, <laughs> and then you end up with that irritated, red, blotchy, like overdone skin, right? right? So Valerie, why don't you stand in front of the mirror and tell the mirror to take a picture of you. So this is very cool. Basically what you do is you can set this mirror up at eye level, either in your bathroom, in your bedroom, and you want to make sure that the light is coming from in front of you. You don't want to be backlit. And you basically make certain hand motions and that prompts the mirror to take a quick picture of your skin. Let's take a look and see. Two, one. So it's taking a picture right now. It takes an instant to take that picture. Now we actually, it takes a few minutes to process and analyze what it found. So we did that this morning. So with it's Valerie. like a, a computer doctor inside your mirror. It's like a smart mirror. Yeah, it's crazy. It totally is. It's like a personal really skincare cool. coach at home with you. It's very cool. So let's take a look at what we did this morning when we took the picture. So it does go through this series of Are these screens. Widely available on the market. Like, you, can you get the? You, you order these online? You or can order you? this now. Wow. You can order online. I, I think this is sort of a very well kept secret that you're sharing with your viewers first. But yeah, this is available now. You can actually do this. So it's taking into right now. We're seeing it go through all these different screens. It's really taking into account all these different factors. So let's cut to the chase and see what it found for Valerie. So it analyzed so, the red spots, the dark spots, the, the percentage of, of all moisture. All those different factors Amazing. and they're all contributing to a healthy complexion. And for Valerie, what it found was that she had three main problem areas. Now that's putting it relatively speaking, this girl has beautiful skin. But <laughs> Yeah, she got a 97.9 out of 100. She's doing pretty Jeez. well. She's doing pretty well here. Show off. So first, when we take a look at her dark spots, you know, when it, this is probably your biggest problem area based on the high mirror. When you're tackling your dark spots, Valerie, you want to start including ingredients that are going to be brightening and lightening ingredients, things like vitamin C, kojic acid, licorice, soy. All of those ingredients are going to help brighten up the dark Is that stuff you eat or darkness. slap on your skin? <laughs> Both. <laughs> but well, actually, right? yeah. For, I don't know. They could put all that in a skin cream, or I'd have to, like, sit there and eat a pound of licorice. Huh? Very, very good point. And it is part of your diet also impacts your skin, for sure, and having those kind of antioxidants help. But in this capacity, they actually are topical brighteners. So you do want to look for creams. And, and of course, the most important part. They have those as ingredients as in ingredients the cream. As ingredients in the cream, right. exactly. So then after after we looked at the brown spots, the next biggest problem area, according to the high mirror analysis, was 
pores. Now, Valerie, we spoke before, and you're just using like a basic cleanser every single day. Mm -hmm. But based on this, what I would start to incorporate is a cleanser that has the ingredient salicylic acid in it, because it's going to dive into the pores and clean and them really out. Does clean them out right, exactly. Right. So maybe every other night you can start incorporating that kind of cleanser. And then last, the high mirror did sort of reveal a glimpse into the future that you know we're just starting to see the emergence of fine lines. Nothing yeah. severe, but just the beginning. So it's a great time to start using a retinol, maybe even just once a week. And Valerie's like, oh my God, that's <laughs> what did she just say? So what's really cool is that the high mirror is going to keep track of all of that for you, mm -hmm. and it's going to prompt you which products to use in which order, morning and night, and they can scan your face on a daily basis and track your progress and tell you, are you coming closer to reaching your goal? Which is very cool. Does something like that cost hundreds or thousands of dollars? Ballpark around two hundred dollars for this device at this time. Not bad. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Right. What is this freaky thing that looks like a spaceship? So let's and this move poor over lady here. Jean has been sitting on it. Hi, Jean. Hi. Thanks for coming out in your underwear and sitting on the space board. <laughs> this, this here, we have an LED light stim bed that was provided today by Dan Jean. And this is really the most cutting edge way now to rejuvenate the skin and the body by harnessing the power of light energy. So, Jean, what is it that bothers what does, you? Wait, 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 wait. Don't go, oh, you don't even know how it works. What? What is it supposed to be doing? Like, this looks like so, John Travolta is going to come out in really tight pants and get down. Jean, if you don't mind, take, lying down here, and I'll tell you guys a little bit about LED. Okay. So, LED stands for away. light emitting. Are you okay? You're right yeah. there? She's situated? So, it stands for light emitting diode. And LED is, LED is a form of, of light energy that was actually initially studied in NASA to help astronauts if they got a cut when they were in out of spa outer space. It helped them to heal their wounds. So the scientists who were studying this light, they found that it actually works wonders for the body and for the skin. So it what can, does it do for your it skin? It triggers collagen production, it huh. improves circulation, it decreases inflammation, and it helps with wound healing. And huh. it does so by emitting two different types of light. So let's take a look at an image of the skin, and we can see the types of light that's diving into the skin through these LED lamps. And there's over 18 thousand of these little LED bulbs here. So we're talking about a lot of energy being delivered into the skin. So you can see the red arrow. So red light is one form of light that's being emitted here. And it actually penetrates down into the level of the skin called the dermis. Mm -hmm. And that's where the collagen and the elastic tissue is being produced. So theoretically, it stimulates the production of those molecules so it keeps the skin tight and firm. And then if you see the purple arrow down way beneath, that's the infrared. And that, Jean, are you feeling a little bit of warmth on the bed? That's yes. nice, right? This yeah. She looks like she's exactly. on a sunbed, right? <laughs> yeah. She's yeah. chilling over there. Mm -hmm. So the infrared light, your body registers that as heat, and it penetrates very deep down to what's called the subcutaneous fat, which are those little yellow globules that you're seeing there. And what's very cool about this LED bed is that both the red light and the infrared light has been shown to release a molecule in our bodies called nitric oxide. And what nitric oxide does, and what it's doing for Jean right now, is that it basically relaxes the muscles that are in the blood vessel walls. So it lets you increase your circulation. It improves blood flow throughout the body. When you think about blood flow, it's delivering oxygen, nutrients to every tissue, the skin, the muscle, the soft tissue, the joints. So it's got amazing healing properties. How long does she have to bake on this thing? <laughs> so Jean would have to carve out about 40 minutes out of her schedule to lie on this bed. I think you can find 40 minutes to lie here Absolutely. and relax. Absolutely. I can right? stay here all day. Yep. Book me for a double session. <laughs> I want to do nothing for 80 minutes. That's fine. So about, about 300 bucks in 40 minutes. Right. All right, so we have another little thing that you're actually wearing on your own body. We sure do. So, Rachel, this product is so new, it's not even available on the market yet. But what it is, is it's a sweat patch. And it was developed by researchers at Northwestern University. Right. And basically what it does is it analyzes your sweat to tell you about your health. So you can see it's about the size of a quarter. It's made of silicone. It's very thin. It's very flexible, so you can wear it on your skin here. You can wear it on your well, back. What can your sweat tell you a about your A lot. Health? Your sweat can tell you a ton. So basically, the idea behind this patch is that you're going to sweat, and then the sweat's going to be routed into these different micro channels. We can take a look at that now. There's these tiny little channels. Each one of them is about the diameter of a human hair, and at the end of each channel is a tiny little chemical assay or chemical test. It's like wearing a lab on your skin that'll change color based 
based on what it sees in your sweat. And the idea is going to be there's going to be a sister app. So you whip out your smartphone, you take a picture of your patch, and then it tells you about your health. So the, one of the couple of things that it measures is it's going to measure, it can estimate your total sweat loss, your hydration status, your electrolytes. So I envision it practically. It's probably first going to be used to help us optimize our workout routines. So whether you're an athlete or you just want to get the most out of your workouts, it's going to tell you, you know, maybe you should choose this sports drink over this one, and maybe you need to rehydrate at this, you know, frequency but it's not throughout telling your you workout. Like, oh, you have diabetes. I mean, it's like, well, it's not about. It's actually, not actually that was an excellent question because it can also measure glucose and chloride. So it will have practical applications as well. Huh. In fact, it will probably be used by diabetics wow. to monitor their glucose. No needle needed, which is needle-free. That's a needle-free way of monitoring your sugar levels. And because it measures chloride, it could be even be used for babies to diagnose things like cystic fibrosis. I mean, the, wow. the potential is literally the sky's the limit with this kind of wow, technology. Wow, that's an amazing it's little pack. Unbelievable. Anything else coming out in 2017 you're excited about? We have lots of cool things coming out. There's a new generation of fillers that are actually meant to move with the face so that you don't have that frozen, overdone look. So they're really meant to sort of be flexible and stretch with the skin. We have new and exciting ways to melt and freeze fat. That's always uh, been Do a Do you know, it is thing. so weird how many guys are into that now. Oh, yeah. So many of the commercials about those fat melting processes. It's one of the it, hottest processes. procedures for my male patients yeah, now. It, Every one in ten of my dudes. patients are guys, and the guys they want to freeze away this fat, they and they want to melt away their, their, tire. their little muffin top. What they're is that tire. called for a man? I don't know. Yeah. Belly. They're tired. They're tired. They're tired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so come back when those are ready and show I us sure all about.